What's up guys and welcome back to the channel where we learn, do, and talk about photography until we're sick of it. I've got a pretty cool video planned for today. I think uh, a little something for everyone to enjoy. I'm out doing some bird watching in the wetlands, making a photo that I've been working on for four years. So uh, hopefully today we'll get this photo. I'll explain to you why it's taken me so long to create it. And uh, I'm gonna make it here with the R7. So I know I've got a lot of R7 fanatic, fanatics that tune into this channel and I'm gonna uh, use a, a, a feature that I've rarely heard anyone discuss about the R7 that I think will, will be perfectly suited to this photograph. And it's probably not the feature you're thinking of. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll make the photo here in a second. But first I'll catch you guys up a little bit with what's going on with me because I haven't published a video. Uh, this video should publish sometime in late January. So at that point, I, I, I think I'll have been off the channel for about a month. Uh, and you know, that's fine. Mostly I, I just, uh, I regret that I've missed the chance to say happy new year to everyone. So I hope everyone's having a, a great new year. Uh, I've been sort of using this month to catch up on some commercial work that I'm a little behind on. Uh, speaking of that, if you enjoy wildlife content, you might enjoy some content that I'm making for the Filmora film stock channel. I'll link that up here. I'm also using this uh, beginning of the year as a time to reflect on what I did last year and sort of strategize as to where I'm going to focus my uh, my creative energy and my time and my limited resources to make sure that we've got a, a great entertaining uh, year this year as well. Uh, starting with uh, a new intro for the YouTube channel. So let's roll that and get into making the photo. So you're joining me here at Goose Pond Fish and Wildlife Area. This is my favorite wildlife area in the state of Indiana to watch the snow geese migration, which is an event that I look forward to uh, usually twice a year. But uh, in this instance, this year, we're sort of catching them coming and going at the same time because of the way the seasons are compressed. So my goal here is to, uh, to catch uh, the geese uh, landing, uh, launching off the pond and landing uh, with long exposures to sort of drag out the motion of the geese. Uh, it is something I wanted to play with and I also like to show it off because this is uh, this is the kind of uh, photo that you can make with almost any wildlife equipment. So you don't need anything, you don't need an especially fast wide aperture lens. You can make this with a kit lens. And in fact, if you come here early so that the birds aren't alerted to your presence, uh, you can make this with uh, standard focal length lenses as well. So you really don't even need a telephoto lens to make this photo. What, the, what makes this such a long-term project is that the birds are, may only uh, launch and land a few times uh, a day and they're only in the area for a few days out of the year. So uh, you really only get a few opportunities per year to try to perfect this photograph. And uh, this year, if we have any luck, I'm gonna try to bring you guys along for the process. Okay, this is the composition that I have. Beautiful marshlands here. The birds are uh, really uh, being active for probably the last time of the day. We'll try to get a photo and uh, uh, starting with this composition. Okay, I made photograph at a lot of different exposures and I'll put the exposure times and some of the different examples on the screen. So maybe if you wanna make a photo like this for yourself sometime, you'll have a head start. You want to do so much experimentation, you can get right into making the photo. I also show off a feature of the R7 and uh, that feature is something that I haven't heard a lot of people talk about. It's the double exposure mode. So uh, we're going to see if maybe I can catch some multiple sharp exposures of the, um, of the snow geese as they launch and land. I don't know what it's going to look like. Uh, we'll see here together. Okay, so in addition to being able to take uh, a different numbers of exposures, the camera is also letting me uh, choose different blending modes for the exposures. Uh, the first example I'm going to show you is with the bright mode. And we'll try the dark mode and some of the other modes as well. And I'll actually try all the different modes and I'll tell you uh, along with the photograph as I present it to you, which uh, compositing mode that I used. That was the average mode. This is the additive mode. And that was the dark mode. Okay, so of all those modes, I think my favorite was the bright mode. I'm gonna try that one more time because I've got a set of geese coming in uh, to make a landing right now. So this is a five exposures at a quarter of a second with the uh, bright blending mode. photos 
share with you. And uh, uh, we'll be getting into a regular publication uh, uh, regimen for the videos coming up as well. So uh, it's good to be rejoining you. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your wildlife loving friends. And until I see you next time, you guys keep an eye out and a foot forward. And thank you for watching.